guys, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my art channel. Glad y'all could make it. I have a visitor here with me. Um, kind of being my assistant, but actually laying down being my assistant. It's Kathy from Imagination Creation Station. She just started uh, doing videos herself on YouTube. Want to say Hello. hi, <laughs> Yep, she's she's uh, cheerleading me on today. She did one uh, today, so now it's my turn. Um, so looking forward to this. What I'm doing today is um, <laughs> I'm trying. I don't know if it's going to work out. I am doing four coaster tiles, but instead of doing separately, I kind of stuff them together. Uh, I'm going to do a bloom on there and see if it works. I don't know if it's going to work, but um, my pillow, which is the... Glidden PPG Multi Pro uh, eggshell and it was already slipping down in the cracks. You can't really tell. It looks like one giant tile, but um, and I'm still gonna think about how I'm gonna let this dry. If I'm not gonna pull them apart after I spin it all out, uh, maybe let them dry. But the sides are definitely coated. So anyway, let's get started on this. So my colors today: Kinkaku G by Eye Candy. I remembered. Woohoo! <laughs> it's a beautiful yellow by Eye Candy Pigments. And um, yeah, these that's pretty much what I'm using are the Eye Candy Pigments, uh, except for uh, maybe a couple. So you see, you want the consistency to be kind of like uh, when you do this, that the trace leaves within two to three seconds, it melts right in there. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get started. And I'll, I'll tell you as I lay the colors down. So I said, well, we're just going to plop this right down in the middle and hope it turns out. So, oh, that is pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And, and I'm telling like you, yeah, I'm, I was <laughs> just about to say that. I do not like yellow, but let me tell you, yellow now along with blue because purple was it for me. And yellow rocks my world. Now, this is my other, like, drive me crazy. I love color is Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold. This is by uh, uh, Golden. But I also have the Vivid Intense, the Fluid uh, by Color Art. Um, yeah, so I'm going to lay that down next. And yeah, we're going to go a little heavy on this. I'm just playing today, guys. I don't know if this is going to work out, but if it does, um, fantastic. If not, you guys get to see me making a fool of myself. <laughs> oh, you'll do fine. I know. I, hey, you know what? I'm, I don't even care. I'm, I'm right here I with just, you. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, my it. dear painting buddy. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so this is another one. This is um, by Vivid Intense. It's the Indigo Blue Black. So that's really pretty color, too. That's my color. Blue. Yeah, well, I'm going to go easy on this. You know, I think I say that about all my paints, you know. And you know what? Last time I was using this, I was like, oh, it's a little too thick. And I think it is again, but it works. Yeah, I don't want to go too crazy on that. I have to take all the paint. Now, here's a new one. We went to Cheap Joe's Art Shack today. I found out there was one about seven miles from my house. And they had the Jacquard Lumiere. I don't know if you've ever heard of those, but they have the Pearl X pigments. And this is Red Russet. I thought I would sneak a little bit in there. You know, um, yeah, it's got to be different. You can't always just do blues and, and uh, yeah. I should yes, you can. Thin this. Huh? No. Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah, I can, but. If yeah. you're me, you can. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta thin this down just a little bit. I thought I thinned them all down, but I guess they they just needed a little bit more. They, they should flow off the spoon fairly easy, so we don't want to go crazy on that either. So, and then here we have another eye candy pigment. It is deep ocean blue mixed with a little bit of eye candy Pacific blue. So we're gonna do that. Yeah, I put a lot of paint on here, but you know what? I want an explosion of cells. I just hope my paint don't explode on me. <laughs> That's a lot of paint, but okay. And last but not least, I may do the gold. Um, last but not no, I you know what I think I'm gonna use this one. Um, not last, second to last but not least. This is um another eye candy pigment, and this is rainbow green. Um, this is by eye candy. This is icicle. It's a beautiful it. white. Yeah, I know, beautiful white shimmery. And I'm like, what better way to top this off than to put a little bit of this on here? so exciting i know right hey <laughs> all right so i think this is gonna be a pretty cool color palette what do you think Kathy? i like that yeah yeah so guys here's the deal if my painting comes out awesome i did it 
if it didn't turn out so good, she did it. <laughs> oh, gee, thank you so much. I'll take the full blame. There you go. Whatever. I'm just joking around. Okay. <laughs> so here's our selectivator. It's um, it's Payne's Gray, Amsterdam Payne's Gray with uh, Aussie Fultral, a 3 to 1 ratio. And I put some interference blue in here. I don't know if you can see that. Like, up the light, you can see the blue shimmer to that. This stuff is amazing. So, <laughs> there you go. Oh, please. I know, right? Okay, so as I say, let's... See what happens and blow this bad boy out. Oh my god, look at that icicle. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. God, if you guys could see the shimmer on this. Wow. Holy mackerel. This is like, um, guys, <laughs> you've got to see the shimmer. Look at that. That's like, wow. Um, so now we're going to like kind of embellish a little bit. It's spectacular. It's not bad. And I was a little worried about that pink that red russet but i think i just put the right amount in so yeah i might want to post this one oh, yeah. before i start yes yeah, it's right in there that's perfect what else do you think it needs where tell me Talk i don't to me. i don't know. oh you know what check this out i'm gonna do this watch this watch this guys can you see this okay i'm gonna put this up closer so you guys can see watch this it's amazing that just a little toothpick and the the things you can you can do is like mind blowing, you know, just the, the designs you can make that just transforms the painting. Got some pretty cool cell action going on. I have to write down that recipe. Yep. So, and then the bling, I don't know if you guys can see the blinging. Anyway, guys, um, that's going to be it. And, um, yep. Uh, so if you guys had fun and you like what you saw and, or we may have scared you off, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. We just like having fun. Um, please, hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Thank you so much for joining us. And again, stay tuned for the end of the video. I'm going to have another little clip of my drag results from last week. Until we see you again, guys, peace out. And uh, we'll see you when we see you. Hey, guys, Andrew here. Um, thank you again for watching my video. As promised, I have the final dry results of la my last video, uh, working on a 10 by 20 MDF canvas doing a deconstructed bloom with a new pouring medium and of course my favorite colors um i bought some acrylic paint markers off of amazon i think it's imagine art i'm telling you i don't know how i ever painted and, and did my art without them so they're amazing so i apologize off the bat if the focus gets a little crazy this camera is a little not the best but anyway um and also the Results at the end of my video, you saw like right here, there was it what looked like a cat's eye almost. It was really cold, and unfortunately, I had to tilt it off some more. So, I took a palette knife with some colors and I did this. So, it kind of added a little bit to it, I think. I love it actually. So, yep, and here's It's the flyover of this. Uh, try not to go too crazy. I love those cells right there. Those are the ones that look like little pearls. So that's that. And also, guys, um, I have a treat for you. I have the dried results of today's video, believe it or not. Um, my four coasters that I did with one giant bloom. So here's that. Yeah, I really like this. I apologize about this thing. I know it looks a little cheesy, but... It was still, I think, a little wet from the varnish. It's dry now, though. Yeah, it's dry, but anyway, here it is. And again, with the markers. And, you know, the only kind of, I want to say, bad part is when you're putting the pillow on and you're spinning it out, there's going to be paint seeping down that can't be helped. Um, and I was worried a little bit about the how 
if it was going to look like one big bloom. I think it's not too bad. I mean, there's little parts that you can tell because it just ran down and the whole uniform uh, composition of it kind of went away a little bit, but I was able to, I think, save it pretty good with my markers as well so that the whole composition looks like it belongs together, <laughs> so to speak. So, yep, so here's a little close-up of this. And yeah, I love those markers. I really love those markers, so, yep. And I got four tiles done in one go. So yeah, and I love this part, this middle part here. So yeah, um, it's really not that hard to do. I know they say the bloom is the hardest technique to do. Um, it is, but with perseverance and patience, it, it pays off. It took me a long time before I could blow a bloom on a, anything bigger on, a, on a little, one little tile. <laughs> um, but, but, but with the help of amazing friends, too, artists, and um, being inspired by a lot of them on here, it's just, it's amazing. So you can do this. Anybody that wants to do this, you can do it. And guys, if you want to leave a comment uh, on my video there, please do so. If you need any questions answered, you need help with anything, um, you just want to give me feedback as to what you think of this or what I, you know, any ideas. I would love to hear from you guys. I really would. Um, and don't forget, please, to hit the subscribe button. Uh, to those who have already subscribed, I just, I want to thank you. I can't tell you how much it means to me. Like, you know, when that number goes up one more, I think, wow, somebody likes my work enough to want to see it and to see more. That just really, really touches me. Um, I can't even tell you. Uh, so, and it makes me want to paint, paint more, paint better. Um, I, so I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Um, and hit the, also hit the notification bell so that you will be reminded when another one of my videos comes out. Um, so anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, I got both of them here and. I'm glad I was able to do that. And anyway, until my next video, guys, uh, peace out. <laughs> and I'll see you when I see ya.